Slovakia or uh, Romania? <laughs> I have to say Slovakia, you know. I'm Slovakian, so I hope Slovakia, but I'm also I'm also a big fan of Romanian national team. And both teams can qualify together? Yeah, I'm sure that uh, we have the qualities, Slovakia and also Romania, to, to go through. And I'm sure that if you're going to draw, for example, for sure we can we can go go through both of us. And there are a lot of people who spoke about a draw. Is it possible? Do you think in 2024 no. No, to no. speak the players to speak before no, the no, games? No, for sure, for sure not. You know, you want to win. Okay, maybe in this in this moment, four points can guarantee to our countries to go through, but. Uh, you go to the pitch always that you want to win the game. Doesn't matter against who you play, you want to win the game. So I'm sure that also Romania, also Slovakia, they, they will try to win the game. Okay, if at the end it's going to be draw, maybe both of us, we are going to be happy because we are going through. But uh, I'm sure that from first minute, both of us uh, will try to win the game. Two weeks ago, Belgium and uh, Ukraine were favorite now. Yeah, you know it's it's football. You never know. We beat uh, we beat Roman uh, we beat uh, Belgium. That it's I think number three in uh, FIFA ranking. You know, so it was a big win for for Slovakia. You beat uh, Ukraine with a big difference. Mm, you destroy them, let's say 3-0, and you play very well. So it's football. You know, uh, now we have three points. Every every country in the group we have three points. So uh, it's going to be very very interesting. Who can uh, decide the game? Name a player from each team, from mm. or two, three players. Okay, my ex-teammate from Slovakia, from Slavia, Ivan Stranz, he already he already scored both of our goals in uh, in Euros, and he is this player that uh, I don't know how he is doing, how he is doing this stuff all the time that he's he's scoring the most important goals also in Slavia in national team these two these two games, you know so. Uh, if I have to say one name, maybe him or maybe Milan Skriniar, our captain from from some free kick or corner kick, you know, because he's so big. Uh, and if I have to say one name from national team of Romania, I have to say Nico Stancho, you know, not just because he's my friend and we play we play together, it's because I know that uh, he's an amazing player and uh, his shooting from from outside of the of the box you know it's like it's amazing i saw him score a lot of goals from free kicks from from 20 25 meters so if somebody has to decide a game we have i think that we have good defense we have good defenders so maybe some some shot from logan distance from nico can be very very dangerous for us when did you spoke the last time with stancho I think one week ago we spoke before first game. Before the, the first game yeah. or before the Euro start for? Uh, I think uh, I have to check uh, <laughs> my messages, but I think the last time when I spoke with him was bef before first game at Euro. We were speaking about uh, his jersey that he has to he has to give me one his jersey. You know, I went also to Sela Stadium to see the game against Liechtenstein, the last friendly game of Romania. And uh, yeah, we are we are still in uh, still in uh, in a touch. We speak to each other sometimes. You know, he's so 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 nice person. Not just great football player, but also great person. Do you have now a message for him before the game? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's play good. Let's play good, but uh, let us win. Or one one. Or one one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>